Sheik was probably the first hidden character you found out about. While her true identity, Zelda, is the only one visible on the character select screen, the princess undergoes a transformation in order to give her homeland some hope of revival. Her alternate self acts as an undercover agent ninja of sorts, escaping from under Ganondorf's control over the world and feeding Link information. That's right, Sheik is proof that not all royalty is spoiled. Most people believe that Nintendo designed Sheik to be a damage dealer and have the player finish off her opponents by transforming back into Zelda, as Zelda's KO moves are much more powerful in comparison. However, Nintendo clearly did not account for the fact that Sheik's edgeguarding tools would be more than enough to finish off opponents on her own. Needles, long limbs, and an insane edge game make her opponents despair anytime they're off the stage against Sheik. On stage, Sheik is equipped with an arsenal of moves that all seem to have one single objective, control space. Her forward tilt, aerial attacks, and needles are perfect for walling out other characters, controlling a zone with tiny openings that only the absolute best players are able to exploit. Unfortunately, she kind of has a bad rep for being an easy character, and this is more or less a phenomenon that occurs no matter where you live or what skill level you're at. While we could delve into the whys and hows and make a whole argument out of it, all I'll say for this video is that all characters require an immense amount of skill if you want to actually be good at this game. One of the most common complaints is directed towards her ridiculous grab game. Sheik's grab is her most dangerous and strongest tool. All of her combos can start from down throw, which pops up floaty characters to easy to hit heights and starts a tech chase situation on fastballers. She's also considered a low tier slayer because her down throw combos into itself on many of the weaker characters, also known as a chain grab. The haters will always talk about her auto combos are scripted and free. But in actuality, her combo game is really one giant mind game. Escaping her combos is easy, simply DI away from her at all times. However, at any given time, she could down smash or forward air to send you at an awful angle off stage. If you want to survive those moves, you'll have to DI up and towards her, which then again sets up the rest of her moves. Therefore, comboing with Sheik is all about finding ways to trick your opponent into DIing the wrong direction every step of the way. As simple as she may sound, she's actually super quick and can use needle cancels and platform movement to do some really stylish things. Sheik especially does crazy edge guards off stage. Sheik is generally considered to be just under the top level of the tier list, as most professional players place her anywhere between number 4 and number 6. Despite the fact that she can do well against any character, there's a surprising amount of contention for what matchups she's actually favored or unfavored in. Fox and Falco, of course, are tough matchups for anyone across the board, but the Ice Climbers have historically given Sheik's a tough time. Her grab game gets nullified, because if she grabs one of them, the other can simply knock her away, and she gets chain grabbed by them, which is one of the easiest setups for a wobble. Jigglypuff is another tricky matchup, because again, she can punish any grab attempt from Sheik by crouching under it, and Puff gets away from combos easily. Although most of the top tier characters destroy pretty much all of the low tier ones, Sheik is especially notorious for abusing her strengths, as they're not able to get past her zoning as effectively as the higher tier characters can. Sheik's aerials hit hard, but with good DI, most characters can easily live past 100%. At lower percents, many of her moves can easily be crouch cancelled as well. Sheik's moves come out quickly and have low end lag. She's also very fast on the ground. Sheik's limbs have far reach, both on the ground and in the air. While sometimes her move can be stuffed, in general if she gets her moves out in time, they will hit. Her needles can also be used to extend her reach as well. Sheik's recovery is extremely linear and predictable. While she does have some tricks to allow her to get back to the stage safely, a solid opponent can deal with her limited options almost every time. Sheik does have some weight, and with strong DI can survive up to very high percents. Despite the fact that her boost grab and dash attack are quick and have far reach, they are overly committal and subject Sheik to easy counterattacks. While her aerials are quick and have great hitboxes, she does slow herself down considerably once taking to the air. Sheik's defensive game is where she really shines. All of her moves are immensely powerful zoning tools, both able to cover tons of options with high priority and get her combo started. On top of all this, she has the best shield in the game, 
able to keep her safe for long periods of time and allowing her to take advantage of her excellent out of shield options. Sheik is your main if you enjoy predicting and counterattacking as opposed to rushing enemies down. You want a fast character that still has good range. You can shrug off the salty hate that many Sheik players normally receive. You like to abuse certain moves or tactics. Or if you want to save the world from the shadows. <laughs>